It used to be that stars were discovered at drug stores, and now <laughs> stars are being discovered on The Tonight Show. At least you were discovered on The Tonight Show, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, it was on my uh, first, well, not actually my first, but I was on Jack Parr last October, and uh, it was one of his last shows before he got canceled. And I sent the videotape to Johnny Carson's people, and I was on last December, and they spotted me for Chico and the Man, and here I am. And here you are, instant mm. star. I didn't mean to rhyme that, it just came <laughs> out. One glass of milk, put instant <laughs> star in, and you too can be on television. <laughs> Freddie, what kind of a routine were you doing? Because uh, Jimmy Comack told me, he said, the minute he saw you and you said some line or other, he says, that's our Chico. Yeah. Now, what was that routine you were doing? I was doing a bit about the uh, manager of the apartment building. I lived in New York, Mr. Rivera, the kind of guy who never wants to fix anything in the apartment if it goes wrong, but he still wants a key in case of an emergency, like he wants a new TV. Or, you know. <laughs> and so you can't complain. And whenever you complain, you say, hey, we haven't had hot water for about eight years. Uh, maybe there's a problem with the boiler. You ever think of that? He goes, well, it's not my job. It's never his job. So he caught me in the lobby next week. He said, Freddy, listen, man, I saw last night on TV, you were talking about somebody we both know, me. <laughs> and I don't like it. If you do it again, I kill you. I said, I don't want to hear it. If you don't like it, just shut off the TV. He goes, it's not my job. <laughs> Shows you where he's at. And uh, being Puerto Rican, I did a lot of that, what it's like to be Puerto Rican. And uh, even though I'm playing a Chicano, but uh, it was fun. And I got to sit on panel the first time, which doesn't happen, you know. Carson liked me, and I was very lucky. And that was the beginning of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Now then, Chico and the Man looks like it's just going to be a sensational hit. And that's not just, you know, publicity, flack. Uh, the audience measurement tests that they've run just show that it's, it's going through the, the roof. Are you, are, are you ready for, for this kind of stardom thing? I've been ready since birth. <laughs> Because when I was little, I was the fat little kid in the neighborhood, <clears throat> and all I could do was be funny. And I was like, oh, no, you can't play baseball. So this is like my, I always wanted to be somebody, you know. And to do it at 20, you know, it's great. It is great. But have you started already to feel some of the pressures of what stardom does to people, or is, has that not hit yet? Uh, well, yeah, in a way. It hasn't changed me. It's changed my friends. Like, and it, it annoys me sometimes. You go, hey, hi, Fred. Hi, hey, you're doing good, yeah? Mm -hmm, uh -huh. Whereas they used to go, hey, Fred, hey, yeah, hey, what's happening? How you doing? And, um, but they're natural with me because I try and stay the same. Because uh, I can't see changing what's inside just because maybe the inside of my pocket is a little fuller than it was. Yeah. Or because more people know my name. That's just more reason for me to stay the same. So they know me. If they're going to know me, they know me as I really am, you know? Do you ever think of yourself as having any resemblance or any similarities to Cantin Floss? Do you know no. who that is? I know who it is, but no. You don't? Uh, I've been compared to a lot of comics, Lenny Bruce, Richard Pryor. But uh, everybody usually says, well, he's really very unique. I, I don't know. I, I don't think I, I look like anybody that I know of. Yeah. Now, you write your own material. I lived it, mostly. I didn't write it. I don't sit down and... But uh, mostly it's just past experiences or just, things that I see. Just draw on that. And now you're into a series where there's a situation written for you. Is that difficult to do somebody else's lines? It's a hell of a lot easier. <laughs> I, uh, oh, I don't have to write any? Oh, great. Sure, give me the script. <laughs> Gone, you know. But he lets me, uh, Jimmy Comack produces very good about that. He lets me throw in lines when I feel, use things from my act. Uh, I'm writing a script for the show. So uh, he has a lot of faith in me, and I don't intend to let him down. Yes. And you said you're Puerto Rican. Were you born in Puerto Rico? No, my mother was. My I father's see. Hungarian. That was another thing in the culture. I said, I'm a Hungarian. <laughs> Added to the uniqueness. Right? What other Hungarian is there? Even my parents are Hungarian. Together, they made a Hungarian. Uh, and uh, I'm playing a Chicano. And uh, it's different. I was born in New York. Rough city. Uh, the muggers, the people who are robbers there, they, they, they won't hit you if you have money. It's if you don't have money that you get hit. So all that hitting thing is just a myth. If you have a dollar, you're cool. My mother should give me money so they wouldn't hit me. So you give this to the guy if you come. I say, okay, one day I didn't have the money. I spent it. And the money my mother gave me, the guy says, give me some money. I said, I spend it. He called up my mother. I told her. <laughs> I got home, she says, I got a call from some criminal today saying you spend the money on junk. 
<laughs> right in the head. <laughs> How do they feel about their son, the star? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, everybody says hello to my mother now. She's, oh, me? Oh, yes. And uh, I'm going to get them a house in about eight months when they, uh, they my mother doesn't want to move out there. And uh, so in about eight months, I'm getting them a house, which is, that, that's the best thing in the series to me. It's self satisfaction that I can give my mother something she never had. And um, so that's uh, the best part of it, I think. And Jack Albertson, to work with him is great because he's brilliant. I've always dug him. Yeah. Freddie, stay as nice as you are. Hey, thank you. And the very best of luck to you and Chico and the man. Thanks very much.